Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on digital communication. We are discussing the information theory part and in that we are discussing the convolutional code encoding. So we have come to the next part of encoding that is trellis diagram. I have already discussed up to here that is state diagram. You can go to my previous video, you can watch the state diagram which is very important to understand the trellis diagram. So now coming to trellis diagram. So trellis diagram can be made using this state diagram. So for a quick revision, I, I'll tell you how I made this state diagram. So I took four states because it is represented by three shift registers. So the number of states was 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 which is 2 raised to power 2 which means 4. So these four states are represented. A is 0, 0, B is 0, 1, C is 1, 0, D is 1, 1. So the basic rule was when the input is 0, move downward or move to the same level. And when the input is 1, move upward or move to the same level. So now we started from A. When the input was 0, we, we remained at A because the downward level was not present and at 1 it moved upward. So now we will make the trellis diagram. So we have 4 states. I am representing the 4 states. So we started from A state. When the A state input was 0, it remained at A state. So when the input was 0, it remained at A state. So I will make the state diagram like this and the output was 0, 0. Now when the input was 1, it goes to B. So it goes to B when the input was 1 and the output was 1, 1. So now for the second state, when it has input A, it can remain to the same level or and the output would be 0, 0 or it can go to the level B and again the output would be 1, 1. Now here, here what is the probability? If the input is 0, it would go to C. So at 0 input, it would go to C and the output is 1, 0. Now, when the input is 1, it would go to D and the output is 0, 1. So now for the next level, I have all the 4 places. So now I have all the 4 states. So now in the next level, A would have same state or B. Again, input is, so the input is 0, then at this time, 0, 0, 0. So, 0, 0, 0 is representing 0, 0. Now, here 1, 0, 0. Here it would be 1, 0, 0. So, 1, 0, 0 is representing 1, 1. Now, here. Now, come to B. So, B would be same. Either it would come to C at 0 input. So, for 0, 1, 0, the output is 1, 0. And at 1, it would come to D. So at 1, it would have 1, 1, 0. So out would be, output would be 0, 1. So now coming to the next state. So at C, what could happen? When I am at C, at 1, at 1, what would happen? At 1, it would go to the B level. So it would go to the B level. Input was 1 and output was 1, 0. And the next level is, next is input 0. So when the input is 0, it would come back to A and the output is 1. Here it was 0, 0. So now coming to D. So at D, what could happen when 1, it comes back to D? So at 1, it comes back to D. And the output is 1, 0. And when it has 0, it goes to C. At 0, it goes to C. And output is 0, 1. So now again, I can make this structure. So for your reference, I am making one more structure. So A can remain at A or it can go to B. Now B. 
B could go to C. B is going to C when it has input 0. And now the input are 0, 1, 0. So output is B to C output is 0, 1, 0. After that, B can go to D when the input is 1 and the output is 0, 1. So now coming back to C, C can come to B when input is 1 and output is 0, 0. And C can go back to A when input is 0 and output is 1, 1. Now D. D will remain at D when the input is 1 and output is 1, 0. Or D will go to the C when input is 0 and output is 0, 1. So we can continue this structure till the last point of the input. So this is representing my first input of message bit. Then second shift at, that is second input. That after third shift that is third input. Fourth shift, fourth input and so on. So this is how I will discuss the trellis diagram. Trellis diagram is complete now. So I have discussed all the three methods of encoding. That is code tree, state diagram and trellis diagram. In my next video, I will discuss the decoding of convolutional code. So first we will discuss the Viterbi decoding and after that we will discuss the sequential decoding. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.